Greetings and welcome to The Home Slice. This is a standard intro if you already know what's up with my 40 millimeter manila rope testing, the Andy rope test, then you can skip to this time listed on screen. This is where the actual edge test begins. If you haven't been here before, then you've caught me in the middle of a testing series where I'm taking Victorinox knives because they're simple steel that's mainly just steel. There's not a bunch of extra alloys and carbide things going on in them. And I'm testing what different sharpening stones do to them. I'm testing fine, medium, and coarse stones individually. Then I'm taking the best from those and I'm making what's called a dual grit edge. If you're new to the channel, a dual grit edge is where you sharpen one side coarse or medium and the other side of the edge you sharpen fine. It has some really interesting characteristics. Usually it creates an, an aggressive edge that lasts longer than it normally would with either coarse or fine, with some exceptions, which we're testing to find out. Anyway, my test consists of, I've got a little goofy rig that I slice through a one centimeter thick sisal rope and it's on a 45 degree wedge. It's intended to transfer that force down. And then I measure how many kilograms of pressure it took to slice through the rope while holding the rope vertical. That's intended to take forward motion and quantify how much pressure it took to slice through. This gives you some rough idea of edge aggression. The next test is to cut through a 40 millimeter thick manila rope. And then I test on a best machine tester to test how keen and nice the edge stayed. I do that until it's over 400 grams on the best tester, checking with microscope and checking to see when it loses shaving capability in between tests. After three, I will hammer the edge into a pine piano leg, and that's just to see if any of the edges break on impact. There are certain sharpening methods I've found that create an edge that's not as robust to impact tasks. And I wanna kinda of weed those out because for a working edge, I want it to be reasonably durable. Anyway, that's what we're testing for today. In just a second, we'll skip right over to the test footage and I will let you know what the finishing stone that we're actually testing was. What's up guys, just recently got a 1000 and 3000 grit combination water stone by Suhiro. I'm testing the fine side of it today and the aggression hits 2.9, which when you take away the weight of the rig, that makes a new best score of 0 0.9 kg. Here's the edge under the microscope and obviously it looks quite keen. I, I couldn't find or detect any wire edge problems or anything like that. But as we'll see when we got into the test, it did seem to get smoothed over fairly quickly. This is the first pass through the Andy rope and I must admit it takes quite a lot of effort on these really fine Japanese stones to get through the Andy rope. But I still was surprised to see a 640 gram reading there. I retested a slightly different place and the edge hit at 331 grams. I thought it was fairly curious for the edge to fade so quickly, so I gave it the benefit of the doubt and went with a 330 gram number and did another pass through the rope. But lo and behold, we are at a reading of 455 right off the second cut and quite a high aggression number here as well. It was difficult enough to get through the rope that I sort of fumbled through this first time, but that is sort of an indicator of where the aggression is at. I reset the machine without the weight of the rig and I freeze framed it here at the highest number, which was an 8.9 before I got through. That makes for 6.9 kilos of slicing aggression and that is a loss off the original reading of six kilos, which is not the best reading that we've seen so far. As far as edge damage, the edge doesn't seem to be terribly damaged. In fact, most of these microscope pictures look pretty good. And indeed, since this time, I found the Suhiro Cerax 3000 grit stone to be quite good for cleaning up burr and edge damage and stuff like that. I actually quite like the stone, especially in a dual grit context, but
but alas for this test it did seem to smooth out a little bit too quickly to perform well in this rope testing. In the impact test we started out with a number of 455 off of the last reading and after the hammers into the pine piano leg we've got a number of 465 so not a lot of loss also indicating pretty good cleanup that sawdust that you see along the edge there is where it penetrated into the piano leg so this is the impact zone and I don't see any major problems. My last test is on screen now. For all the rest of you, I'll say peace out from the home slice.